my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. I uh, often get the opportunity to get invited to different events around the district and around the world. Each of these uh, events are very unique, and one of them that we just visited was a really uh, interesting one. I had a great time. It's an inaugural one. And with me today, I have Mary Catherine McBride. Hi, Welcome. Wade. And you are from the Rotary Club of Newberry Park. Newberry Park. Park. Thank very you. Good. It's so, great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Myself, uh, where to begin? I've had a wonderful career. I started uh, as a film and television producer okay. from New York, born and raised on Long Island, New York, and I started at ABC Television, Wide World of Sports, and The American Sportsman, which were shows back in um, Moon Orledge's days. And um, so I got my um, uh, industry legs there, and then bought a one-way ticket to California, <laughs> and got into dramatic filming okay. and, as a producer. I'm a producer. Okay. And um, I did a TV show called Knott's Landing, for 14 years. Right, it was right. pretty popular back in the day. Definitely. Your mother might know about it. Um, <laughs> uh, dating myself. Yeah, right. um, and then I had my own company in Santa Monica for a couple of years and did some independent movies. And then we, uh, my husband and I produced two children. And um, uh, it was time to get out of the industry. So we bought a one-way ticket to Newberry Park mm -hmm. and uh, raised our children down there. And then I segued into events live events. As a producer, I can produce right. whatever, whatever it happens to be. Mm -hmm. So um, I, it was a natural segue for me to go over from film and television to live events. I do corporate events. Okay. And then um, I met a Rotarian <laughs> um, there. I was actually called the Rotary Club to help me. I was helping the, um, working with the Newbury Park High School to raise some money to build a new football field. Okay. So I had heard through the grapevine that Rotary did pancake breakfasts. So I needed somebody to help me do that. So I called them up and I went and met with them and I said, would you bake some pancakes for me so we can raise money? And they said, absolutely, that's what we do. We help people raise money. I said, well, I'm your gal. <laughs> and um, by the end of that meeting, they asked me, you have to join our club. And I said, no, 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 I'm, I'm too busy. I don't have, to, I didn't come here to join your club. I came here to help you help me. Um, but um, eventually they worked on me and as time went by, and um, actually I'm the classic example of it takes three times approaching potential members mm. to, uh, to get them. And so the third time I said, okay. <laughs> and I went and I fell in love with the club okay. once I got there. Okay. So that's, that's, um, that's my life in a nutshell and here we are today. And that was the Newberry Park Club? Then? Newberry Park, okay. yep, since uh, 2003 I joined the wow. club. So who was the one that was uh, persistent enough to Oh, you'll, you'll you. know him too, Ron Block. Oh, Ron. Ron, Ron Block. Very good. Yes. We actually and had him on a TV show. Did you? Yeah, oh, he that's did great. the uh, Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher, yes, yeah, we did. We're very show. proud of that. He was so instrumental in getting that park um, uh, built. And it's um, a very unique, of course, one of its kind in right. the country now. Yeah, definitely. So, um, it's uh, a prototype for a lot of other communities to, to... We're very proud of that. Got it. Very proud so, of that. So um, I often ask this, but what... Did you ever, or would you say you've had a rotary moment, something that hooked you into the organization? I know, you know, uh, people say that, and um, there isn't one moment. Okay. okay. Um, um, but I have moments where I'm so proud, because I can bring to the table my skills mm -hmm. and uh, as a producer. So I create fundraising events. And when I see a success, and we'll talk about the one we just had, which is an, several, I've had a few, that I feel just very proud that I was able to uh, inst in, instigate this and, and be instrumental in its success. Therefore, everything will follow through. Does that make any sense? It makes a lot of sense. And, you um, you know, yeah. from raising money to bring the community together, all those kinds of great things. And um, uh, helping people around the world is, is something that's important. Dreamcatcher Park was, was yeah. wonderful. I have an autistic niece, so children with disabilities um, and, and special needs is very close to my heart, mm -hmm. uh, as it is to many people, whether you have someone in your family or not. So Dreamcatcher Park was one of those great moments uh, when you really saw that um, operational and how it, it helps and the impact it has on, on our um, youth. Very good. So tell us a little bit about this, uh, this new project oh, the that new you just one. undertook. Thank you for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for Thanks coming. For it's so sweet of you to come down and support us. So many people. The um, Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night Festival okay. was uh, a brainstorm of mine and a buddy of mine who is a crafter hot sauce maker. Okay. And we were having coffee a few months ago, well, back at the turn of the new year, 
and uh, he was, we were talking about hot sauce, and he said, it'd be really kind of cool to do a hot sauce uh, competition. I said, oh, really? And okay, <laughs> what would you do with that? And uh, he said, well, there's so many of us around the world, and it's very popular. I said, yeah, you know, I do know a lot of people that like hot sauces. Um, so how would that manifest? We started talking how it would manifest itself, and um, being the producer that I am, uh, uh, you have to have layers with things and of interest to get people to come, let alone spend money. <laughs> and um, so then I started layering it. Um, you should, we should have an activity it's, uh, for people of things to do, things to see, things to experience. And so hot sauce, I did a little research. I went home and started looking up hot sauce competitions in, uh, around the country and in our community particularly. And there wasn't anything. Mm. There's salsa, there's chili, you know, there's craft beer festivals, but there's no hot sauce. Mm. And the more I discovered, um, uh, or I discovered, it's, it's rampant. There's huge, huge following and crafters uh, making hot sauce craft makers. Mm. Now they all have to be done in a legitimate kitchen. They all have a bottle with their own label that's, you know, uh, so it's, it's, it's health wise packed correctly and um, they just usually sell them in their community or whatever. And um, so I thought, well, this, this might have something here. It was unique. Then, um, what else do we do? Cornhole was also very unique, <laughs> very popular. It's and very I popular upped the game. now, right. I upped that game, and um, I found out that there were very serious cornhole players True. in the area that play for money. Right. So if you offer a purse, you'll get the players to come out. So that's what I did. I offered a purse. And then we have a lot of craft beers and a lot of food tastings. And um, one of the important things, too, when you're putting together a fundraiser, um, as you know, is what is the cause? What do, you, what do you want to raise money for? Everybody says, well, what's the point? What are you raising money for? So that's an important hook, mm -hmm. an important element right. um, when you're creating an event, especially for Rotarians and as a fundraiser, any, anybody for a fundraiser. And we had just had the fires. The Thomas Fire, right. which was the worst fires in California history. Mm -hmm. And how could we help? I, I thought the firemen are just our heroes. A friend of mine, my, my actually uh, son-in-law, lost their home. His parents lost the home mm -hmm. in Ventura. So it was very close and it was very raw for everybody. And I'm very dedicated to our firemen heroes. And um, I know of the Grossman Burn Foundation. Mm -hmm. So I contacted them and said, I'd like to uh, help out. Do you need any assistance? And how can we help our firemen? All of our firemen go there. They take care of uh, all of our local, and firemen are always getting burned. People don't realize that. Mm, um, true. So anyway, it became a very nice, um, natural uh, partnership, and they were thrilled, of course, um, to, to talk with me about it and to work with me on it, and to help, it went into their foundation, the Fireman's Fund, so that they can spearhead the monies and direct the monies to our local fellows and gals. Good. So that became the elements of how to put something together. Let's uh, take a look at it. You have some pictures sure. here, so let's sure. jump into them so we can okay. actually show the audience what it really looked like. Nice, And what nice. it felt like, by the way. Nice. So the first picture we have is a picture of the entranceway. Um, that was, uh, by the way, a nice presentation of that. And where was it located at? Thank you. It's at the gardens at the Las Robles Golf Course in yeah. Thousand Oaks. This is a new, um, event venue they built um, a few years ago at the okay. golf course. A lot of weddings are on the weekends there, but right. it's also very available during the week. Very nice setting, by the way. Thank they, you. They did a really nice job. Thank with that. you. That's very important too for uh, the success of an event is is the uh, ambiance and the arena sure. and what your the presentation. Which it did have, by the way. You Thank did you. a great job on that. Thank one. you. Well, as a producer, it's presentation, presentation. <laughs> exactly. And the next picture we have is actually the name of the event. Um, how'd you come up with that one? Old Boney Mountain is the name of our mountain. In Thousand oh. Oaks and Newberry Park. Did not That's know that, that big mountain over there. It's really? called Old Boney. Okay. <laughs> that people go hiking up to the waterfall. So it was a natural. Okay, good. And a hot summer night in July. Got it. Great. And then uh, the next picture we have actually is um, the cause that you're supporting yes. for. Yes, the Grossman Burn Foundation. Dr. Nice. Grossman was there, the, the son. Uh, Dr. Senior has passed away, but uh, the son was there with us that evening and very was nice. very, very um, uh, supportive. Good, very good. Now, how do they, um, you support them, do they have any part of the partnership um, that they work with you on? or? Uh, well, they s help support it. Okay. They certainly lent their name, okay. which is a very recognizable name, True. and it resonated with a lot of people, uh, the attendees. 
Okay. And when you're out there selling it and promoting it and uh, trying to get people interested and enlisted, um, oh, they're great. Oh, that's a wonderful cause. So that's right. very important element. Yeah, I can see that. Um, uh, so they're not the sole beneficiary, but they're the major beneficiary. Okay. They'll get over about 65% of the net proceeds. Nice. Oh, yes. Very good. And I'm going to work with them again next year, too. Okay. Good. Uh, next picture we have is, um, I guess, one of the vendors that you had on yeah, so scene Yes, Old Booney Mountain is, um, Hot Sauce is the name of my partner's, the fellow that I was having coffee with months right, ago. Right, right. That's his hot oh, sauce. that's his hot sauce. That's his hot sauce. Okay, so he... he lives right under the mountain. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So uh, that would be uh, his connection into the competition. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay. And it was a great segue. He handled all the hot sauces. Uh, and getting the word out to that community. We were an international hot sauce competition, by the way. Oh, wow. We had over, uh, no, we had 10 countries send oh. in hot sauces. Several companies from a con England, for example, sent three companies or crafters mm, right. sent their sauces in. They were one of the winners, too, by the way. Okay. <laughs> um, and we had 20 states um, uh, send their, we had 110 hot sauces. Wow. That came in. That's impressive. It, it was it was it was overwhelming <laughs> for, Once, for a it, first time around. First too. time. Thank oh, you. That's amazing. Thank you. We we, we connected with them and they saw uh, they love this. You see, and this mm -hmm. is this is their passion. Right. Now the uh, next picture we have actually, I believe that is the judging portion of that one. Is that These correct? are the winners of the first judging. We had a first elimination okay. Okay. several days before that um, ah. at uh, a private home, and we had chefs and um, other uh, restaurateurs. And chili heads, okay. um, people that are in that world that appreciate hot sauces, right, they right. were the judges. And they wheedled down the 110 to the 12 finalists. Okay. Uh, winners, rather. So the judges actually are professional ones. Yes. Professional. They're part of the tour, the circuit that goes around. Well, they're locals. They're, okay. They were our local fellows, okay. Okay, and uh, men and women, and um, uh, several restaurant owners, as I said. But, but they, they have fairly specific uh, criteria of what they're judging. And they have the different uh, categories of, of uh, heat. Uh, so you have to, okay. uh, it can get quite, quite serious if you have your North Carolina um, uh, ghost peppers. Okay. So um, that category was called volcano. Okay, <laughs> got it. So you really do have to understand what you're getting into. True. But um, uh, there was a lot of criteria. There's the look, the smell, the, um, uh, the overall appearance, okay. um, and taste, of course, of course yeah. and heat factor. So okay. there were various um, categories. And these are the 12 winners of that first elimination. Okay. And here, it was people's choice. The so people's I gave choice. the attendees the opportunity to vote what they would like as the people's choice. Got it. And the hot sauce, these 12, one of these 12 winners had a chance to win twice. OK. OK, got it. Does that make sense? It does. They move forward then, right? They move up to the next one for like an exactly. overall elimination. Exactly. That's right. And then we have the next picture you'll see. The next see. picture, uh-huh is all the labels. We had so many wonderful um, uh, visuals True. that we added a best label competition for oh, People's good, Choice. So that's what that second part was. That's right. Okay, now so it's people got to again. see all of these, and they could also taste them if they wanted to. Okay. They weren't in competition anymore, but that's what was submitted. So the, uh, it was good PR for the people who submitted their, their, their sauces. Right. Uh, you could buy them online. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was a good PR uh, move for them as well. So everybody, it was a win-win for everybody. That is good. I, I believe you had a um, silent auction. It was a is silent right? auction. Okay, and then um, was that specific to the event or just kind of anything? It was anything. Okay. It's okay. Uh, silent auction items are always um, just what you can gather from the community and the generosity of, nice. of your vendors and uh, patrons and restaurants okay. people locally. And it always um, helps to raise money. It does. And we raised a couple of thousand dollars. Oh, nice. Just on the silent auction. For the first time around. An important thing, though, with that is you have to remember your audience. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, don't buy th get things for, uh, that are a $3,000 value. Yeah. Because the audience that's going to come to this, I was going after the 30-year-old millennials. Okay. Because they'll come out on a hot summer night, on a weeknight. They'll pay 45 to $50 to get in for a tasting glass and unlimited craft beer and tasting and food tasting. Mm -hmm. So that was the audience that I knew uh, would be attracted uh, okay. to this kind of an event. Got it. So all the, that thinking has to go into what are you doing, what's your cause, and who's going to come, and how much are they going to pay. Okay. So uh, that was my audience. So the items we had for the silent auction were all within $100 oh, okay. or $150 value. Right, right. So um, they, the, they could bear audience, that. As you said. That's okay. right. Very good. I've gone to others, of course, where 
there's so much more, but <laughs> True. nonetheless, those different, are important, different audience, though. important things to remember when uh, we're putting on fundraisers. And next picture we have is uh, one of the other vendors, I believe. Yes, that was Infinity Sauce. Now, hot how sauces. many vendors did you actually have on location? Um, we had uh, 30. 30? Oh, 30. Wow. We were full, full. We backed to capacity. Interesting, because it looked like there's a lot of room there. 30, you can, you 30 10 by 10s, I know, you'd be that, surprised. Yeah, exactly. And we That's had two stages of entertainment. Right, right. And um, it wasn't about the entertainment, but music always adds ambiance. It did. And especially something live going on. It so did. it was subtle, but it, it was a nice layer. So again, presentation, presentation. Uh, agreed. Uh, it's how it people felt kind feel of when you're there. Yeah, That's right. you're right. Good. That's right. So the next pictures, uh, we have a few pictures uh, of, of the... Uh, Cornhole competition. Cornhole. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is a group that's called 805. Okay. They're, most of them were. Um, okay. A few locals, but most of the serious players come up from Ventura and uh, Camarillo. Okay. So they came up the hill, okay. as we say in Newbury Park, you got to come up the hill, um, which was wonderful. But um, it was a $30 buy-in okay. per person. And um, for two-man team, then two men, uh, mm -hmm. two people would be a team. And the first first prize was five hundred dollars, okay. and three hundred and two hundred. So it was worth their thirty dollar buy in, okay. to get the to win a purse. Now, and how, many, very how many serious, teams did you have? Some uh, twenty eight. Oh, I had wow. capacity for thirty. Okay. So I got twenty eight again right my first year. <laughs> You're right. There. And okay, um, uh, they would loved it. They loved the the location. the The grassy field was lo lovely. Of course, I had beer close by, and um, and pay them that evening their purse. Right. So it was it was. Uh, also run by the 805 group. Okay. So I had people who knew how to play cornhole with the rules and regulations and all the boards. Mm -hmm. They came and helped <laughs> and uh, ran right. that section for me. Mm -hmm. So it was a really a very serious uh, endeavor because now, these my, are serious players. My question is, on the last picture we have, the, the group actually doing the powwow, do you yes. know what they're talking about? Yes, they're talking about the rules. <laughs> yeah. You mean they actually have to go through rules? Oh, yes. Now, do oh, they change the rules? No, nope. but they're reminding everybody. Just reminding them of it's, the, uh, they're, they're, the, the, the boards have to be a certain number of feet. Okay. You can only have to stand a certain place. You oh, can't really? go past okay. or beyond or, or okay. back or forward or sidewards. Um, so there's uh, the important regulations that everybody's got a, a level playing field. Got it. Got it. Okay, perfect. Then the next picture actually just shows um, part of the board layout, yep. what it looks like yep. from one That'd side. 27 feet apart. Oh, wow. <laughs> from tip okay. to tip. Okay. From the, from the foot to foot. And then uh, the t-shirts, yes. were those um, sold or were yes. they given to vendors? They were sold. Or? They were sold. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. By the way, nice, That's a local nice t-shirt vendor, and um, I um, asked him if he would like to come and um, just be there and have an opportunity to promote his company, nice. and if people wanted one. And they were very popular. They're pretty, aren't they? They are beautiful. And by the way, who did the graphics for that, if you don't mind Pardon me asking? Me? The graphics. Oh, thank you. That is a very dear friend of mine. Good. His name is David Vieira. Okay. We call him Veggie. And he used to design <laughs> rock and roll uh, album covers, and he also owns rock and roll pizza. Oh, okay. Have you heard of rock and roll pizza? I have, pizza? actually, I have, yeah. That's the, the owner of rock and roll pizza. And he happens sense. to be a very dear friend of mine. Well, I'm glad you got a plug in front of that. You did a good job <laughs> on that. Thank these. you. Yeah. But he also did that very, uh, out of the goodness of his heart for me. Oh, and isn't nice. it lovely? It is. It, it really is. just grabs, grabs you. It's very it, pretty. It really did. And then we have one more picture of the, the cornhole. I think this is uh, at the end. I think the winner's already called because it got pretty quiet yes, really quick. Yes, it did. It did. Okay, <laughs> good. And we have a picture here of uh, one of the groups, one of the, the vending groups, if you want to plug any of your, the people here. Oh, thank you. Well, um, wide Eyed Hot Sauce. <laughs> you may want to plug well, the, them. Well, the two fellows in the hats are <laughs> uh, Lee and Ragnar. They're at my Rotary Club. Right. And the other uh, lady and gentleman are um, the owners and makers of Wide Eyed Hot Sauce. Oh, okay. And that's a local uh, hot sauce. I think they're from Camarillo. Uh, don't, don't take me up on that. The local. <laughs> but they won the best label. Oh, they did? They did. Okay. They did. Go bless their hearts. That is Bloody right. Hell. Oh, the next one. The oh. picture. Yeah, and I, I did take pictures of a few of the different That's a label. Samples. The bottle was the skull. Isn't it great? By the way, that was good packaging. They're from they, England. That came oh, from England. Oh, got it. Yes. That was a, a very clever uh, package Very deal good. There. And then these are just some samples. Just of, some samples mm -hmm. of different types. All the other, the hot sauces and some the fun names. Some of them are names. pretty serious and some of them have a, a lot of fun names, yes. I'd, I'd say. Quite a few different they do. fun names. They do. We got a lot of barbecue sauces, actually. We didn't solicit those. But the people who make hot sauce also like a okay. lot of them cross over to barbecue, include okay. barbecue sauce. Oh, got it. Did and so that. we did include that as an area of judging. We got so many. So we'll probably add that officially next year. 
as now, would uh, hot sauce and probably a barbecue. Two or two different categories. Then? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, for sure. Very nice. I like the uh, this is the last picture you have here. Elixir. <laughs> the elixir. That, now that <laughs> was that, that was clear clever. Your nostrils. Also. It'll clear your nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. That was a good clear one. Clear your head. <laughs> Biker Jeff's is a fun one. Mm -hmm. And Sunland Winery is a local winery. If you see that picture, mm -hmm. and um, they're in Thousand Oaks. And they're very supportive. It's um, a winery that's been there about five or six years. It's a lot of Italian-based wines. Oh, so they're okay. a little different than a lot of others uh, out there with an Italian influence. Now, remember you handed us little sample cups. I was yes. going to have you bring one, actually, but I forgot to have you bring one oh, out for the yes, show. Oh, yes, I should have. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, no, that's okay. So tell us a little bit about that. What's the idea behind the shot cup? Uh, the there? tasting glass yeah. is something that's done a lot of these kinds of events and tastings. Okay. And it's, um, it's an easier way for the participant, the attendee. And it's less money changing everywhere. So they pay an, one entry fee, and they get a five-ounce tasting glass okay and then they go around and they taste all the craft beers and wine okay and uh, there was food tastings too but um, it just it helps it keeps down on on trash on other kinds of expenses and um, it's something they take home with them so they think of us all year right right now the question I have was the food and the drink was that donated or was that donated it was donated donated oh, very good yes yeah. yes so it's there's very, a lot of mix of food and drinks. Thank there. you, thank you. Um, what we give back now? Why would they donate? First of all, they want to help the charity, right? And um, they have the time. Mm -hmm. It's a weeknight. You you really have to work with restaurants and and breweries and wineries. Weekends are busy for them. So if you do something on the weekend, you're probably not going to get them to come right. and help. Right. Uh, let alone pass along free food, uh, or wares. So it was a Thursday night. It was also a very conscious thought to choose a Thursday night. Um, but we also promoted them. They have their logo and their website on our link, okay. link to our website. Okay. I promote them on all the flyers that I put nice. out and on Facebook. Okay. So there's a lot of, there's several months of public relations and mm. PR promoting, come and taste them. These are people coming on board. Come on in. Ennegrin right. was a big promoter too. Hmm. Ennegrin Brewery down in Moore Park. Right. They're very, very popular. That's a German-based uh, beer. <laughs> I did not know um, that. <laughs> and uh, so it's kind of interesting that we had an international flavor for an international hot sauce competition. Hmm. Um, so anyway, those, those, the, the tasting glass helps in a lot of other ways. And that's why uh, with their PR, the PR that I can offer back, mm -hmm. You'll have um, participants get on board. Okay. So it's a really it's a package deal. Now the cups, do they keep those as yes, souvenirs? Yes, they oh, keep they them. Do. Okay. Yes, they took them on away. So oh, for heaven's sakes, we'll have to get you another one. <laughs> Thank I you. do have a few left. <laughs> oh, sounds good. But the other thing about doing that is our name was etched on it, as you saw. Yeah, which and I so was when you clever. take it home, I have I collect them because I don't have that many, but um, <laughs> I don't go around drinking a lot to these things. Right, right. But. It becomes a souvenir. Okay. And we call it a souvenir that, glass. That, no, that's what I thought. And I was kind of surprised when we walked out. They go, oh, you can't take clippers with you. So. Oh, they didn't uh, want, oh, the guard didn't want the glass to go outside. I didn't know you were leaving. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll have right. to talk to them next time. <laughs> okay. And I'll that, send you some. Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, yes. we'll see you at the next event for sure anyway. Yes. So we'll, we'll Same time there. next year. Same time next yes, year. Yes, it's middle of July. We're, uh, we're, we'll be July 11th next year. And um, same location. At the same location. Oh, nice. If it's working, nice. don't fix it. Okay. And we, found, and you, you probably felt that too, we were talking earlier, it, there was such a wonderful aura True. And, and community True. feeling for that evening. Right. It was a perfect evening. Uh, and the sun was going down, it was still light, so uh, you have a nice coolness coming to the air. Right. Um, there it was, was a little food. bit crispy during the day, but the evening turned out to be quite yes, nice. Yes, it did. Yeah. Once that sun goes down, or, or it starts going over the yard arm anyway. Down, yeah. um, but the community, uh, just the attendees and all the other Rotarians that came to support, of mm -hmm. course, we all support each other, as you know, as best we can, and local officials and um, uh, VIPs, yeah. uh, sponsors, everybody was having a good time. Yeah. yeah. Just a good time. And that really says it all. It's the ambiance, it's the offerings, it's things to do, it's the right price. And it's a good cause. Yeah, it definitely is. The is the winning, winning formula. Now it's a surprise. I believe I saw about eight or nine different clubs represented at that yes. event. So that I was, know. Isn't that great? That was great on your I part. Know. Good, good promotion Well, it was right very there. nice, on, and so that's what we do with each other. And thank you for coming. It's the same thing. <laughs> Again, you know, thank we you all support each other. They, we do, yeah. That's, that's, that's it is important. important. It's, and it's for the causes that we all that's support. That's right. That's right. 
Now, have you thought about any changes? Uh, you talked about the sauces, um, or, or adding or taking away something, or highlighting. Yes, I have a few things. I'm going to actually, when I leave you to a meeting to review, you have to go, uh, don't rest on your laurels. You have to review, mm -hmm. examine, mm -hmm. and revise, and, and always open up to uh, how can you do it differently or better. And I have a few ideas that next year are going to be incorporated. Nice. Not too many. The overall, uh, it has great legs. And it, uh, it can really grow. I'm not going to move from this location for several years because now the goal is we have to get it branded. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night is going to be a brand, just like things like Conejo Valley Days right. and right. Uh, the Ventura County State Fair, mm -hmm. or fair, whatever, uh, the Ventura County Fair. Right. Um, Fiesta Days here in Santa Barbara. Right. Those things are branded. So you know right away what you're going to get and you want, can't wait and it's the anticipation. That, very true. And that's what will take three years. Okay. Three years to build this. Now, one picture I forgot to, we, we missed was the actual uh, band, some of the music there. So tell us a little bit oh, about the yes, music. Oh, yes, yes. Um, it was just, it's very subtle. And it, this it location subtle. is a little difficult. Um, I usually, I have done events with very big bands and um, uh, across, the, across the spectrum, much bigger than this. But this was in a community where the neighbors are a little, you have to watch your sound ordinance. I think it was kind of nice being a little bit softer because you could visit more. Yes. I thought that was and kind this of that was nice. That's absolutely right. Uh, and that was a conscious effort, Wade. Yeah. Um, it's not about the music uh, to go and listen and sit, but it is nice to see and to be next to it and to hear the ambiance that it adds. So this was very acoustic. It, it, and uh, that, yeah, it had right, like right. an little island um, a Jack Johnson kind of yeah, flair yeah. for the evening. So that was an, a very, um, and the musicians all donated their time. They all well, came uh, gratis also. too. Wow. They're pro bono performances, wow. so that was very lovely, and uh, we're very fortunate. We were very blessed with everybody getting on board with um, with what we were doing. We got a little time, maybe about a minute or so here. Tell us a little bit about the winners, if you, if you have oh, time. Oh, the winners! If, if I if, if I can re remember the winners. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, England won. Wow. Not that one. Not the the uh, the skull one, mm -hmm. but the Grim Reaper. Okay. Grim Reaper <laughs> hot sauce, and they're from England. Okay. We had sauces from Australia, Guatemala, Mexico, New Zealand, <laughs> Canada, the United States, of course. Uh, we had three companies submit from England wow, and wow. three from Australia. Perfect. Uh, Hawaii sent some things <laughs> over. Good, good. So. Well, anyways, thank you very much for, for sharing this. I mean, what a great event for a first timer. You did a great job. Thank you very much. And I hope to come back, and I hope I get an invitation for next you year. You will, and okay. I'm going to send you some glasses. Sounds so good. So you put it on your shelf and think of us all year. Thank you. And with that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you at the next event. <laughs>